Hello my dear friends, today we are going to discuss about window AC, that's window air conditioner. So we will discuss about its working, it's very interesting working and we will learn something more about it. So let us start with today's session, my dear friends. Yes, my dear friends, before stepping on to the working of an AC, I would like to tell you that what is actually meant by an AC. Now, my dear friends, it is a system of controlling the humidity, ventilation and temperature in a building or a vehicle, typic typically to maintain a cool atmosphere. So, basically, air conditioning is the process of altering the properties of air primarily the temperature and humidity and ventilation too, to more favorable conditions and more generally air conditioning can refer to any form of technological cooling, heating, ventilation or disinfection that modifies the condition of air. So it is a system of basically maintaining a cool atmosphere. Right? So my dear friends, air conditioners and refrigerators, they work the same way. Instead of cooling just the small insulated space inside of a refrigerator, an air conditioner cools a room or a whole house or an entire business. So, these air conditioners and refrigerators, they work the same way, but there is only the space difference. Now, let us see that how this working takes place. Yes, working of a window air conditioner. Now here we are talking about a window air conditioner. The split air conditioner also works on the same principle but it is in some other way. Like we see in many shops or in the offices or in the big companies, in the multinational companies that it is whole to totally centralized one. But here we are discussing about the simple one, the window one, not the split AC and not even the centralized one, they are somewhat different. Now here air conditioners use chemicals that easily convert from a gas to a liquid and back again and this chemical is basically used to transfer heat from the air inside of a room to the outside air. So I would like to discuss with representing a picture. Now here the machine has three main parts and they are a compressor, an evaporator and a condenser. Now here the compressor and condenser they are usually located on the outside air portion of the air conditioner and the evaporator is located on the inside inside of the home or the window of the home sometimes as a part of a furnace. So, and that's the part that heats our room or it heats our house right now here the working fluid it arrives at the compressor as a cool low pressure gas here you can see it arrives at the compressor as a cool low pressure gas and what is the function what is the role of the compressor over here it squeezes the liquid and this packs the molecule of the fluid closer together finally which affects its molecules and its energy and its temperature too. Now here you can see this is a very simple mechanism. No need to get confused. This is the high pressure side which is in the gaseous form. So the gas will pass on through this expansion valve. The air will come inside. It will go to the compressor. It will get compressed over here and remember this is a high pressure side. Then it gets condensed over here and the fan also plays an important role in condensing it and finally the high pressure side gas it uh, it will convert into the liquid form and it will go on to the dryer till the expansion valve again right and finally what will happen that it will be converted into a low pressure gas now here what plays the role low pressure side which is in the liquid form right so this cycle goes in this way first it is in the higher pressure side from gaseous to liquid form and then finally into the low pressure side from the on the in the liquid form and then it will convert into 
gaseous form again and all the heated air or the hot air will go out or it will be blown off via the evaporator and blower. So this is the very simple mechanism of a window AC. We'll also discuss about it in detail, more detail, right? So basically here the working fluid leaves the compressor as a hot high pressure gas and flows into the condenser. And if we look at the air conditioner part outside a room or a house, so we have to look at the part that has metal fins all around. So the fins act just like a radiator in a car and it helps the heat go away or dissipate more quickly. Now what happens when the working fluid leaves the condenser, its temperature is much cooler and it has changed from a gas to a liquid under high pressure. Now what happens when the liquid goes into the evaporator through a very tiny narrow hole, on the other side the liquid's pressure drops. So when it does, it begins to evaporate into a gas. How simple is this, right? So this is also a more clear picture of a window AC. You can see here this is inside and this is outside as I already discussed that the compressor and the other part which is the condenser, condenser they are usually located on the outside air portion and the evaporator is in the inside portion, right? So what will happen that the humid air will go out of this AC as a cool dry air and it will cold or it will or what will, what it will do it will cool the room via this condenser and compressor so this is the way it works now as the liquid changes to a gas and it evaporates it extracts heat from the air around it and the heat in the air is needed to separate the molecules of the liquid or for of a fluid from a liquid to the gas so basically here the evaporator also has metal fins to help in exchange the thermal energy with the surrounding air. Now my dear friends, by the time the working fluid leaves the evaporator, it is a cool low pressure gas and it then returns to the compressor to begin its trip all over again. Now connected to the evaporator, connected to the cooling coils and the evaporator, there is a blower and there is a fan right that circulates this is the blower and this is a fan where what happens it circulates the air inside the house or the room to blow across the evaporator fins and hot air is lighter than the cold air so the hot air in the room rises to the top of the room and then there is a vent there where air is sucked into the air conditioner and goes down the ducts so finally the hot air is used to cool the gas in the evaporator through the expansion valve and as the heat is removed from the air, the air is cooled. So it is then blown into the house through other ducts usually at the floor level. Through other ducts means through the fan axle or the condenser coils and the temperature sensing bulb, right? So this continues over and over and over until the room reaches the temperature we want the room to be cooled on right it will reach the temperature when it is set on which it is actually set right so the thermostat senses the temperature which has reached the right setting and it turns off the air conditioner so as the room warms up the thermostat it turns the air conditioner back on until the room reaches the temperature right so it basically doesn't turns off the conditioner air conditioner because it will get turn off only when the main switch is off it basically turns off the compressor of the air conditioner and not the air conditioner itself so keep that in mind that it is the compressor which get turns off by the thermostat it senses the temperature at the right setting and then it turns off the compressor and as the room warms up the thermostat turns off the compressor of the air conditioner back on until the room reaches the temperature right so basically 
this is the top view of the air conditioner. Here you can see that the warm room air, it moves inside the room. And then it passes through the evaporator and the blower. From this, it will move on to the compressor where, it, where the air will get compressed. And then it will move on to the condenser it, when it get condensed. And finally, the condenser discharge air will discharge the air outside the room. So here the motor and the fan also plays a very important role. Here the outside air, it comes inside the room. And what happens? It will leave the room or it will cool the room. And then what will happen? The cool room air. It will come inside the room and it will cool the room finally. Right? So this is the filter. Without the filter, it doesn't take place. The microwave, uh, sorry, the window air conditioner you might have seen. There is a filter also because the dust particles can stick onto this filter and we can get fresh, clean and also the cool air. So this is the top view and here you can see the side view which has blower wheel, drain pan, air filter, front panel, base pan, propeller fan. So all these things, the damper, the fan motor, these all play a very important role with the compressor the, with the three main parts called evaporator, compressor and also the condenser. Right? So my dear friends, that was all about the window air conditioner. I hope you liked today's session and you got to understood, sorry, you got to understand about it. So I hope it was an enjoying one. We'll meet in the next session with something new. Till then, take care. Have a nice time.